Well, good evening. This is my third day in Yorkshire and April 2021. Just how many is Three days out of lockdown and I'm taking a walk towards Ingleborough. There's no way I'm going to make it because I'm late because of the I thought I'd take a detour here to uh, get back to the campsite that I'm staying at, motorhome site. And I've spent my first day doing some work with a film crew with the drone. And uh, yeah, it went well. Thanks very much for asking. Anyway, we have the wonderful open countryside of the Yorkshire Dales here. Ingleborough is there. As I say, I'm not going to make it. But uh, I'm going to give a little bit of a walk. I might send the, the drone up somewhere around here. There's quite a few sheep around, so obviously not with livestock. And I'm at a crossroads that you saw the sign started at. So straight ahead of me, Ingleborough public bridle way back to where I just parked, Chapel Dale that way and uh, Great Dork that way. Let's go to Ingleborough. So this one's a bit of a run and gun, I haven't mic'd myself up. You might get a bit of a wind noise, not that it's windy but on the mic I do apologise. Um, but uh, yeah I was just driving up uh, the, uh, the main road past Ingleborough towards uh, Ribblehead Viaduct and looking for a place to stop. It's already getting late having spent most of the day uh, on locations so didn't have the time really to play about with all the mic paraphernalia. As I say I apologise, I'm sorry. Hope the audio is okay. I got a shot earlier uh, of a bit of a limestone pavement looking out towards the sunset through the valley I'll pop that up for you now obviously I don't know quite what it's like because I'm just looking on the screen at the back of the camera but it looked quite pleasant it's probably not an award winner I know it's not an award winner and uh, well hope you enjoy it anyway there's another gate up here But now I come to look at it and I've edited it and studied it in a monitor rather than the back of the camera. I knew this wasn't an award winner to start with, but why isn't it? Well, for me, the boulder in the bottom left-hand corner just takes the eye away. I don't like that. Yes, we do have the leading kind of path through the center, but it's not leading to anything particularly. And if it leads to anything, it's really leading to the sheep that's got its head down and isn't really a focal point. If I lose this boulder on the left hand side, bottom left, then I can't really clone it out. I mean, that would be unfair. So if I were to crop it out, I lose the tree in the top left, which I think deserves to be there. first change is I've just removed the sheep and it's such a tiny tiny change but I think it makes a world of difference and all of a sudden I'm not so bothered about that boulder down in the left hand corner I have removed it or rather cropped out in a different edit of this and I'll show you that now so you can let me know what you think in the comments below but I think actually the loss of the tree doesn't justify the loss of the boulder and therefore I think Putting the boulder back to get the tree is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I think the image, to my mind at least, does look better like this. Let me know what you think. Now this is rather wonderful. The sun's come out from behind a cloud. You can see just how orange that glow is now because I can see it on my face here. Everything's being bathed in this beautiful orange and this light has just come across this vista here. It's a shame there's no clouds in this direction. Uh, it's a real shame there's no clouds here because 
if you remember my other video and if you haven't seen it go and watch it photographers don't like blue skies and I think I struggle to get anything terribly interesting out of this just as a as a landscape there's just not a, a lot there but the color the color is gorgeous So I think I've seen a photo I'd like to try and get. These trees along here, along what looks like a ridge of limestone. They look fantastic and we've got these shadows being cast by the, the dropping sun. I don't have a lot of time because the sun is gonna fall behind the hill over here behind me quickly so I'm just gonna try and see what I can get off this now there's a shot I think heck I've worn myself out coming up that tiny incline so what I'm faced with here is these two wonderful trees but the backgrounds are a little messy with the other trees which is uh, a shame I really did want something cleaner I love the way I love the way the sun's catching this now and I love the way the lines in this limestone rock lead to that tree I'm gonna get the shot because it's what I do if I don't get a shot, I'll kick myself with this. I really do want this shot, but I know it's not perfect. Just look at those lines. Well, that was great. I just did a whole load of talking to the camera and it wasn't recording. Brilliant. Let's do this again, quickly. So I've chosen to do this. I know, sorry that uh, uh, you're a long way away. I can hope you can hear me. I have not my up, but I've already explained. I've chosen to do this as portrait so I can get pretty much everything into shot. Ingleborough over there, tree here, limestone pavement and the cracks going through it, straight through leading to the tree. I'm having to put them slightly offline because if I'm standing here, they do lead pretty much straight to the tree, but I want Ingleborough, the whole peak uh, and the drop off in the background. And that means I have to pull it across here and sacrifice that leading line. I'll give you both versions and you can tell me which one you prefer. So we'll start with the first shot which is a little wider than the other. I haven't actually moved a great deal in these. Now I'm, I'm stuck between the two images and the wider one you've got the smaller tree on the left hand side just to the left of the main tree uh, and the tree is centered. I like it but I think I like the off-center nature of the other one with the complete fall of Ingleborough on the other side. And I think also it's less complicated without that tree there. What do you think? Let us know your favourites in the comments below. Now, come on, find me. Uh, face track didn't do that a minute ago, did it? Well, it said it did. It's difficult to explain just how free I feel right now. Being here, having just closed a business that was really getting me down, and 
Yeah, I've travelled 230 miles up to Yorkshire to do a bit of work with somebody that approached me uh, from seeing some of my work on YouTube and I, I have to say a big big thanks to Dan I won't give his second name because he doesn't know I'm recording this and he might not want me to but a big thanks to Dan for making that approach and offering me this opportunity to come and do some real work in the real world for yeah professional uh, professional work I, I, I can't say too much um, but yeah uh, thanks Dan thanks very much um, thanks to my family for letting me come uh, because unfortunately they have to stay in uh, Norfolk for the moment because of school and uh, and such uh, it's a shame they can't be here um, it's a real shame I'm sorry but but incredibly thankful, incredibly lucky to be here. The sun going down over there, just, ah, oh, um, yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. If you're stuck at home, and you're probably not now because lockdown has kind of ended to a degree, but if you're suffering from being at home, and a lot of us are, please, Get a camera, it doesn't have to be a, something like this, just take your phone, get out of the house and go and take some pictures, it is so cathartic, doesn't matter how good you are, just get out there and if you need a reason, your camera, your phone, whatever it is, is the reason, get out, enjoy the open door, the open doors? No, enjoy the countryside, enjoy being outside, if you live in the city, just get out, and, yeah. Go do some street photography. Just get out. Look at that sun. Look at it. Let me get out of the way. <laughs> uh, the camera's tracking me now. There, 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 there it is. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's just getting better and better, but it's going to disappear behind this uh, this hill over here very soon now. So uh, I'm going to try and get another shot before, uh, or another couple of shots before it vanishes. Well, pumped as I am to be here, I'm gonna have to make a, a move because, well, sun's going down. Hey, the motorhome's not far away. I can, I can see it, and that's uh, even without my glasses on. But uh, I still wanna find my way back down here. Now, how did I get up? Hmm, okay, uh, must have been, yeah, there, we've been there. This face tracking's not very good on this oh, on this camera. Yeah, you're okay to lose face tracking. If I try to find you again, you don't like it. Let me stop. There you go, so face track back. Hey, get down here. Worry about that. Smack my knee on the rock. Ow. Ow. Subject lost. How the hell can you lose the subject, Osmo Pocket? How? There's nothing else in this bloody frame. How can you lose the subject? Uh. It's a fact that the tracking on the Pocket 2 isn't a patch on the Pocket 1. I've noticed this. I haven't done a lot of actual tests on it, but I'm going to. Uh, but I've noticed a lot that the tracking 
just isn't up to it. I don't know why, it's a real shame because they got it pretty good on the uh, Osmo Pocket, but uh, the, the Pocket 2, let's put my glasses on so I can see, because there are people around, not many, <laughs> there's some. Anyway, anyway, I'm going back, I'm going to go make myself some dinner, uh, down here I think, yeah, somewhere about here. There's a, a footpath. Footpath trodden. Obviously trodden uh, grass. Let's put it that way. I think footpath is stretching it. And head back down here now. There's a, no, I was going to say I'm going to flip you, but there's no point because you won't get much of an exposure going that way. Anyway, I'll, uh, I will see you.